Hey guys, um, so I want to do a quick video on uh, I'm getting the uh, instrument cluster pulled out of the F-150 here and uh, I'll turn the camera around here in a second and um, to get to the basically I've got to replace the circuit board um, that's behind the instrument cluster that runs the entire instrument panel and uh, to get to it it's it's not that difficult but um, I watched a number of YouTube videos uh, trying to figure out a couple things and um, looked pretty straightforward. There's one little catch that I didn't see on any of the videos and I just got it figured out so I wanted to share this video so if anybody was running into the same problem um, we could fix that so uh, check this out. Alright so here is the instrument cluster that's got to be pulled out. Um, there's other videos out there uh, covering some of this but um, this is your, your wiper tab and when you pull this one out, uh, basically you pull the knob out and when you look down at the neck of the knob, you'll see a little notch and you just take a little screwdriver or something, just a tiny little something and press down in there and, uh, and that, that knob will pop right off. For your headlights right here, um, this one, the knob doesn't come off the metal neck that extends out there. The entire piece comes out um, as one whole piece. The trick is though, is and this isn't even what i'm talking about in this video the main point is you've got to reach up under there um so basically i, I had to reach up here and <laughs> you got to get your hand and wrist all the way up in there and, and figure out where it is and um find where this extends into and you're gonna find a little button if you will and when you press that button this will just slide right out so the knob and the metal neck you know, which is about three inches long, that'll come out as one piece. Um, you gotta get your little, uh, the little chrome plastic piece of plastic, you gotta get these pulled off, which is no easy task. Um, I got two of them off, no problem. The other one, uh, I, I busted pulling it off. So whenever I get this whole thing put back together, I'm gonna have to replace one of these, which is not a problem. I know where to order it from. Here's the catch, okay? When you go to, and this has got the, the factory AM radio in there. The catch on this one is I had everything, all the screws undone. There's, you know, screws that hold this whole thing in place. And this whole thing was kind of ready to come out. But I figured this little face plate was attached to the rest of this piece and it would all come out. Well, it's not. It sits right here. And this is after you get the radio knobs off, which just pull off no problem, okay? But this plate that goes over the radio, it sits there with a washer and this tiny little nut. I mean, I mean tiny. And this tiny little nut fits on there, okay? And screws in to a tiny little set of threads like that, okay? You got to get those off, <clears throat> which again is no easy task because even though this socket, let's see what size this is, I mean, look, so 9 16 is what fits that nut. Okay, there's no, there's no wrench, socket wrench you can put that on and, and have this fit all the way down in there to grab it. So I had to put that on there and then basically take a, just take a little vice, uh, vice wrench and get it to turn and they weren't stuck on there. I mean, it turned easy, but you got to get all that junk off of there. Okay. And then come on, I just had it. up in a second then these will be the final screws right here this one and this one and then the whole thing will pop out so like I said I've seen a number of videos on on YouTube talking about how easy it is to pull the instrument cluster out a couple screws get all the knobs out of the way I didn't see any one of them addressing that little face plate that's held on there that has to come off that little washer that nut thin nut that fits on those threads right there to get to those screws right there 
So um, I'll get it pulled out in a minute and uh, give you guys an update on what we're doing. All right, guys. So I wanted to show you that little button I was talking about when you're uh, when you're pulling off the um, the head the headlights. So that right there, the 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 cover is off. This right here is where the neck of the uh, headlight knob is coming out. That button right there, okay, that's a button that you have to press down for that neck to release, okay? So you see how high up in there, you've got to reach your hand from down here, okay? So I just wanted to show you that. All right, guys, so instrument cluster is off. You can see, there it is right here. Pretty dirty. And here's the back. So I'm gonna order a whole new circuit panel back there. Probably a whole new backing because as I've messed with it, that uh, this little white plastic piece is uh, feeling a bit deteriorated like it wants to crumble on me. So I'm probably gonna order one of those too. And I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to explore a little bit um, all the wiring that we have back here and uh, just make sure that everything is plugged in the way it's supposed to. Probably order all new bulbs, every every bulb I can reach and everything. And um, uh, I'll probably do a separate video for that update. But um, mainly I just wanted to show you that one little tip on getting that faceplate off. So. Uh, stay tuned for more videos.